So youth faith formation is unique because they're also going through development at the same time, uh, which means that all the questioning that they may have is pretty much in line with where they're at in their development. My faith means a lot to me because as a teenager, my emotions are up and down a lot and I make a lot of stupid mistakes and so I, can always, I know I can always come back to church and to Jesus for a firm base and to, to collect myself, to remind myself why, why I'm here. To me, faith is being part of something bigger, like being a part of something that you don't exactly know but you just have to put your trust in, which is kind of scary but also just makes me feel like I'm a part of something and like there's a greater purpose for me out there somewhere. I'm not sure how I would define what my relationship is with like faith, what my faith means to me, but it's just, I appreciate that I have it and I've grown up in a community where I've been able to like cultivate it and feel comfortable questioning things and growing in my faith instead of just staying stagnant the whole time. My time working with youth, what I see is um, middle schoolers who are just starting to ask some questions they're hearing a lot of other things said around their house, around school, in the community that they want to explore for themselves. As a kid, you don't really question it at all. Like, it's just a thing that's a part of your life. Like, you go to church on Sundays and, like, you go to Sunday school and then you do confirmation. And then I feel like it wasn't really until during confirmation my mom was, like, a small group guide. And there was a girl in her small group who didn't want to get confirmed and so she talked to me she was like if you don't want to get confirmed like I don't want you to feel like we're making you. Confirmation was kind of the first time where I realized oh this is like a choice I get to make about my life and not something that's just like a part of it like I get to choose what it means to me and how involved I want to be in the church and like what role I want it to play in my life. I definitely especially like middle school and high school started to question faith in the church in general, like more than I did as a kid, which I think is an important part of growing in your faith, is like questioning it and realizing, I, like it's not perfect. Absolutely adults should encourage questioning. I think they can do that, um, again, by, by posing questions that they have themselves and, and learning how to explore that together, not just have a question and leave it there, but walk with their youth in trying to find the answers, um, probably more than just a Google search. There's this quote that faith and doubt are, are not opposites, but rather really good dance partners. <laughs> and the opposite of faith is, is something along the lines of disengagement. So I think to show youth that questioning is okay is a way to say this matters enough that I'm gonna keep asking questions. And again, the biggest thing they can do is, is do it themselves and do it with their youth and walk alongside their youth as they question. And my family um, has really helped me in my faith journey and like always encouraged me to go to church, never forced me, but I always felt like it was my decision that I wanted to come every Sunday and I still enjoy coming to church today. When it comes down to it, I think adults can encourage faith formation by modeling it, even in their own imperfection and their own questioning. I think it shows that faith is a lifelong journey and not just something that you check off a list after three years. And I think it can be modeled in a variety of ways. It doesn't just look like praying before bed and before meals and going to church on Sundays, but rather what does it look like to have it a part of your rhythm of your daily life. And that's going to look different for everyone and modeling different ways shows kids that there are different ways to live out their faith. It's not that you can't question as an adult and not that you can't you know, try to get a rise out of people as an adult or anything like that, but so much of it is still up in the air as a youth and whereas a child yet to be determined, whereas an adult things seem a little bit more determined or constructed already. I think that the youth is very different from like older generations and that we bring different ideas and there's so much in the news today about people with different backgrounds or different identities and everything and I think that's something really new that the youth brings to the church that I don't think churches have seen ever. A misconception about youth in like Christian faith is that 
that sometimes our thoughts, our questions are invalidated by our age. Like, oh, you're too young to, to know this, or you're too young to like, be thinking about this. But Jesus said, let the children come to me. I ask that the church accept us, <laughs> this as we are, young, foolish, needing forgiveness, and we also have pretty good ideas. I think it's worthwhile to listen to youth in the Christian faith because we have a lot of new creative ideas. That's something that I think the youth are really strong at.